You guys, my dream has finally come true. It is Manda31409 and today I have a very 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 exciting my little pony for my little po my, my 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 little pony my little pony video for you guys <laughs> if I could speak that would be wonderful uh, before I get into it though I just want to mention that Target just released these women's pajamas that are my little pony and I'm obsessed with them so since this video is my little pony related I wanted to let you guys know that there is my little pony uh super cute items at Target right now in the women's pajama section so definitely hit it up but you guys the time has come the time has come I have wanted this on my channel ever since I started my channel you guys I was sent My Little Ponies for review on my channel. <laughs> it's not an official paid sponsorship, but I don't care because I was sent ponies to review from a company. <laughs> this is my dream. I know it sounds so childish and so dumb to some of you, but this is something that I've wanted for a long, long time. And the fact it is these uh, beautiful 35th anniversary My Little Ponies just makes me so much more excited. So, uh, long story short, these came out a little bit bit ago and I did make my trip to Target to try and find them because that's where they were. Th that's the only place I knew of that you could get them was at Target. Now I do believe um, that you could get them at Target and Toys R Us were the two locations that they were available at. But these are remakes of the original My Little Ponies from the 80s and I'm so excited. I'm so happy about this. Um, you guys know I love My Little Ponies so much. The generation, the third generation is my favorite. And then I like generation one, second favorite. Enough talking. Let's go ahead and open these on up. They did send me all six ponies. Ah! Okay, so I'm just going to go in no particular order at all whatsoever. <clears throat> so they just look like this. Here is Minty. This is a perfect pony for us to start out with. Oh my gosh, everyone knows who Minty is. Minty is one of the OG My Little Ponies. Um, so here is what the box looks like. Sorry for the glare from my lighting, but you can see it has the old school My Little Pony logo on the front, as well as the old school artwork on the back, which is beautiful. So these are all six ponies that you can collect, and then it shows them as the figures on the sides just like this on both sides it's the same um the top just looks like this it says 35th anniversary my little pony and it says includes pony comb ribbon and poster so it does say right there original 1983 collection so these are some of the original ponies remade recreated for today and it's so cool i'm very excited to open this up and compare it um however i'm gonna go through and show you all of the individual ponies themselves in their boxes and i'm only going to open one because i am such a my little pony collector i did ask the company if it was okay if i only opened one box to review for you guys and kept all of the other ones mint in box because I like that when it comes to things like this. I want to keep them mint in their mint in their box, perfect condition because I don't know if years down the road I want to try and sell it and get decent profit off of it or if I do just want to keep it for myself as a collector's item. You guys know that I do collect My Little Pony but I don't physically like play with them or anything other than styling their hair. I'll do that here and there and just clean them up a bit if I find them at thrift shops and stuff but I don't typically take them out and play with them if they're new in box like this. Even I'll get some vintage ones that are even G3 or like G1 and they'll still be in original packaging and I just don't want to open them. I don't know why. It's just they're in such pristine, beautiful condition. I don't want to ruin them. So here is Minty. This is a butterscotch. Here is another a beautiful traditional baby. So cute. Then we have Bluebell. Has cute little stars on her booty. She just looks like this. 
so cute. Then we have Blossom. A very pretty purple pony. Pretty purple pony, pretty purple pony, pretty purple pony. Say that 50 times fast. <laughs> so cute. And all of the boxes are the same. They all have the little artwork on the back and everything. Then we have, these are my two favorites out of the OG ponies that I was sent. Uh, we have Smezzle, which is a lot of people's favorites. She's beautiful. She's like a gray pony with pink pearl. Pearlescent is what I like to call it, even though it's not really not, but it's just shiny, shiny pink hair. She's got little hearts on her butt. <laughs> Very cute. And then the last one, my precious baby, obviously. Obviously she's my favorite. I mean, duh. Uh, Cotton Candy. She is gorgeous. She just has little speckles. For her cutie mark on her butt and beautiful blue eyes and i'm so excited to open one of these up i'm not going to open my favorite ones i am going to open up blossom because i posted a snapchat i'll I'll put it right here on the screen. But I posted this Snapchat and I was trying to go through and show all of the ponies individually in the little Snapchat and everything. And Blossom just was not cooperating. She didn't want to go back in her spot and she was just being a butt. So I just shoved her out of the way and <laughs> um, moved on to the other ponies. So Blossom basically volunteered to be the victim of the unboxing. <laughs> okay, so there was a piece of tape closing it up. Here we go. Oh my gosh, do you guys know that smell, that new pony smell? If you guys are avid My Little Pony collectors, you guys know all about this, that fresh, clean smell of plastic. Just that My Little Pony mint in box smell is so pleasing to me, like I love it. Okay, so there is a little poster that was oh I kind of destroyed that a little bit it was taped to the back of the box and you can see there's just some scenery back here Actually, I can just take that out it's like a little cardboard box you know what I should actually do I should actually save this so I can put her back in the box <laughs> when I'm done um because I'll probably do that but uh the poster came in a little packet like this which I'll open up in a second and I think it's the same artwork as the back of the box which is really cool so here she is in here you can see her a little bit more in detail now without the glare so the comb is up top and here is how she is in there got the traditional little clasp right there on the hair and I think that's the only way that she is actually in here there's no weird zip ties or anything like that so here she is oh my goodness okay so her head turns very easy very easily and her hair is so floofy look at that she is so cute she's coming off more bluish purple on camera but again that's just my camera doing weird lighting you can see she's more purplish but she's so cute and here is her little ribbon tied around her tail and her tail is wrapped around her leg oh there is a rubber band there's one rubber band around her 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 tail hair here very cute it kept its little ringlet shape because it was around her foot and she is beautiful I love how shiny the hair is and it's it's pretty good quality I don't want to say it's better or worse quality than the originals because it's basically like just a remake of the original it's not really much to compare to but um it appears as though the head, I know this is kind of like weird and sadistic to do, but if you open her up right here, you can kind of see that the head is placed on the same way as the traditional ones, which is great. That is awesome. It makes it very easy to, again, very kind of sadistic here, but to pop off their head if you are going to rehair them later on or if you do customs. Um, I love that, that it's very easy to just pop off the head. Again, sounds very weird and cruel, but it's true for people who do customs and things like that. Um, that is a great option is to have the head detach very easy or easily. Uh, she's so cute. So she's really good quality. Um, she's a My Little Pony. I mean, I, I think the hair is more fluffy on the new ones than they were in the old ones. But again, that could just because they're vintage and their hair has gotten really crispy over the years. It's been a while since I've had a mint in box G1, okay? <laughs> But uh, she's beautiful. I love her little, her hair. She's so cute. So here is the comb that it comes with. I can pop it out of the top. 
just looks like this. It doesn't have the My Little Pony logo on it anywhere or anything. I wish it did. I wish it said My Little Pony across it right here or something because now it's just like a generic basic comb. But you can see it brushes through the hair fairly well and simple for now until it gets all tangled up and crazy. But yeah. Now, let's go ahead and look at the poster. My battery is dying on my camera, so hopefully I can get through this. So, and this poster is probably going to go on my wall. Oh, I love it! Okay, so it's kind of little, but it's very cute. It does just have the artwork from the back of the box, just like this. Same thing. It says, you can collect them all. I do wish, this is one thing I kind of wish, is that instead of getting the same poster in every single box, I wish they would have done just the artwork of the pony that was in the box as a poster. You know what I mean? Then you'd have six individual different posters rather than like six of the same thing if you were collecting all of them and unboxing all of them and wanting to hang the posters up and things like that. I do wish that all of the posters were different. It, you're not just being repetitive and getting the same thing over and over and over. So, but let's be real here. You're not, you're not paying money for the poster in, in here. You're paying money for this precious little baby and she is beautiful. She is great. I love her so much. I recommend these so much, especially if you are a, like I said, very avid collector and you love My Little Pony or you just want to reminisce on your childhood and feel a little bit nostalgic and have these as a collector's item. These are great and also they're a great option to introduce children to the old school My Little Pony nowadays. So I'm glad that they remade these so that the young kids can see what My Little Pony used to look like back in the day before they looked like weird little alien babies. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go because my battery is dying. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know down in the comment section below what your favorite pony is from these classic six. And with that, I will talk to you all soon. So until then, so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you. All right, bye.